on what we will be working today. This time, we will learn about abstract painting and how to create an abstract painting called uh, objective abstract painting. And why I'm saying objective abstract painting? Well, we can create an abstract painting, but we have two different kinds of it. One is called non-objective abstraction and another one objective abstraction. So for example, the painting that you can see here is an abstract painting for sure, but depending if I use something as a starting point for this painting, I will call it either non-objective or objective abstraction. So let us see here for this particular painting, I never, never use anything looking at as a reference. So what I've done, I was just was thinking, okay, I want to use a couple of colors and without even thinking exactly where I will place them, I just put some like red color here, a little bit of green here and blue and so, applied a wrap on it, mix it together with the hands and then I got my painting. So this is called non-objective abstraction. Today, we will be working on the project that we will call objective abstraction. That means that we will use, well, we start from the same, we start with the piece of black uh, construction paper that will be placed later on underneath of our painting. And I already pre-cut it, adjusting to the size of our a little bit heavier kinds of paper here, as you can see, watercolor paper, Bristol, uh, paper will be okay. Just make sure that you don't use the regular uh, printer paper. So this part is prepared and then of course I will need some paint, right? So I have here number of colors, actually I have a whole box and again you don't need to spend too much money to purchase your own paint. Just ask your parents to go to dollar store and you certainly can get um, bottles of paint, um, one dollar each. Uh, I just took a couple of brushes here, you can see one of them, uh, that I placed on the side, but I don't think I will actually need it, right? I really want to have a very spontaneous abstract painting, objective um, abstract painting to create. So when I call it objective, that means that I have to have a reference for it, right? Something that will give me the inspiration to create this painting. And I found such in this image. So you see I have a nice landscape image with crazy sky, lots of lots of clouds. Some of them are dark, some of them are light, are bluish, yellowish, brownish. See, we have some hills to bluish, greenish again, a little bit hazy. I have, I think it's a, a vineyard, a, a house here, but those nice hills. So, and some of this kind of yellowish, orangey color there. So. Uh, if you don't want too much, think about image as such, you can turn your image upside down, you see? And maybe then you will not see so much what it represents, like a vineyard, but instead you will see those different shapes of colors. And that's what will inspire you. So again, let us start. I place the image, you won't be able to see it here so much, but I place it on the side here. And without using a brush, guys, without using a brush, I will start applying the colors on. So I'm choosing a number of them. I have different kinds of greens, like you see. Um, I have blue colors, I have teal color. I might also have a little bit of orange and pink. So all of it is here. Uh, you can simply say yourself, okay, I want to just use four colors. That will be okay too. Uh, the decision belongs to you, okay? So I think that I need to have, since there's a sky here, I want to have a little bit of the bluish, tiltish color. Let's see what we have here. We have this nice color. So I will place it. Let me see, they are not even open yet. Oh, la, la. Good. I have to open my container, my bottles here. Okay, will be one here. And what I will do with it, voila, good. Okay, so I will sprinkle it a little bit on the top here. So you see, truly you don't need the brush, okay? A little bit more like this, okay? Make sure that you have a board, like I have it here underneath, 
of the paper, extending, of course, the size of the paper, in case when the paint will go um, over the paper, you have to make sure, you see, you have to make sure that you have a surface there, that um, the, the surface that you can work on and your pants won't be upset that you covered it. So you see, I see some of those beautiful green shapes here going in this direction. So I truly will bring um, the direction and the colors here. So you see something like this. Now, I will be thinking, okay, should I use another color here? And I think I do, or maybe another green, this time a little bit stronger, okay, darker. Okay, so in this case, again, I'm going between those lovely lines here, right? And I apply a little bit more of it, maybe some section even more, okay? Then, notice how loose everything looks like. Then I have a little bit of the pink, and you see, I don't see so much pink here, but I think, why not? I'm the boss, that's my painting, right? So a little bit of it here, and then I think that I will need a little bit of this kind of flesh color, right? I think that this will be a very good addition to my painting. So, where should I open it here? Good. So, a little bit of it here. Mm, what about here? Now I've become a little bit more careful what I'm doing with it. I think I can place a little bit here. And what do you think on the sky? Maybe I should have a little bit of it here. Sky, I usually come, come when I think about the sky, you see, I see um, quite horizontal lines here. So that will be okay. And I think the last thing that I want to apply would be a little bit of white. And yes, you would say, why Madame Okay wants to use white when the paper's already of white color, right? And well, you know what? Sometimes this color can blend nicely with um, the color, the white with the color that we have already, or colors that we already applied there. And I think that that can give us another version, like a lighter version. Of particular color so you can see we have oh my goodness we have lots of lots of different colors and now I will use a trick and the trick will be that I will go with my plastic wrap do you see it here I have to cut a piece of it Whoa. I'll just tear it off and I will apply my plastic wrap on the entire surface of the painting wish me good luck because i'm not really good with such things okay good Whew, it's here fantastic you can see that the plastic wrap covered the entire surface of the paper so the next step will be believe me or not i will smudge it in some places so when you like to play percussion you see with your hands see that's what you can do Okay, Ooh, look, my hands, I like it, I like this effect. Okay, a little bit more here, you see? If you like to press it more, press it more, but make sure that you don't get paint um, outside of your board on which you place the paper, okay? So I think that would be good. I still see the spot here that is um, not covered with uh, any paint, right? So I think this looks really good. Look at this. And... Now I will pull out, you see my paper, uh, my wrap, and what I got, guys, it's an abstract painting. See? So we let it dry, and once it will be dry, we will look at it again, and then attach it using the glue to this black piece of paper. Okay? So let us wait for it. lift it and just with the dots I create the <laughs> blob of glue to make sure that I will be able to attach it just one small blob will be enough you see on this side here a little bit and on the other one and this way we permanently attach the painting to our paper so you see this is our objective uh, abstraction I want to still show you the image 
the image that we use as a reference. You see, we have the line of the sky here. We have those uh, the vineyard here with the beautiful hills house. We have forgotten about it. We didn't even put it because we, we weren't interested. We just wanted to bring the impression of it or to have a starting point. But you can see that if we would see this image in front of us, then maybe we will be able even to see here a little bit of the image inside of this objective abstraction. So I hope that, that you will enjoy the process. Make sure that, that you experiment with different colors and have lots of fun. Have a good day and see you next time. Bye. <laughs>